Cut, Copy and Paste. Useful time saving commands. So how do we use them? Well let's take a look at the command cut. If we want to cut something from our document and that may be to cut it permanently so we don't use it again or to cut it and put it in a different place what we need to do is first of all highlight the data. Now that can be text, a picture, a graph or a table. In this case we'll be highlighting just the text. Now I know there are a couple of ways of highlighting text and paragraphs. I prefer to run my cursor holding down the left mouse button until I select all the text that I want. When everything's highlighted the command for cut can be found in the top left hand corner of our ribbon on the clipboard group of our home tab or we can right click and take the cut command at the top of the menu that appears when we right click. So let's cut that paragraph. It's taken out from our document now we can discard it but I'm going to put it at the end of our document now. So I press the enter button to get a new line and now what we want to do is we want to paste it so we need to paste it back in position. Again by pressing the right mouse button we get a menu and that has paste options and I'll talk about those shortly. But Again in the top left hand corner of our ribbon we have the paste command and the arrow underneath it is the paste options. I'm just going to paste this into place. Here we have our paragraph now pasted at the bottom of our document. Now the paste options, what are they? The first one says to keep source formatting. Well what that means is if it was formatted in a different type of font or it was a different type of style we would keep the style that it had originally. Merge format the merge formatting means that we'll, whatever style it had in the past we we'll merge it to the document style it's going to. And just to keep the text, if there was any pictures or anything else involved we would just take the text. So those are our paste options. So that's cut and paste. And another command we can use is to copy. So if I select the top sentence and again go up to the top left hand corner I've got the copy command there it is available when you right click as well so I can copy that sentence and then paste it at the bottom of the document so instead of taking it out I've duplicated it so that's cut copy and paste very quickly now another thing I'm going to show you is the clipboard. When we're cutting and copying things they will go onto our clipboard automatically or we can add them to our clipboard and then we don't have to use them immediately but we can use them later on. We can go back to our clipboard, click on the thing we want and paste it. So that's our clipboard very quickly. Now we don't have to just work with Word, we can cut, copy and paste from different softwares or we can go online and we can copy things from websites of course subject to copyright rules. We can't cut them because we don't have permissions but we can take for example the picture from one of our lessons so if I left click on there we don't have the ribbon obviously when we're working on another piece of software and I copy that, I can come back to my Word document and I can paste that onto our document. By using our paste options in 2010 we can get a preview before we actually click on the option of how it will look on our document. So the paste option with the original formatting would look like this to merge the formatting you notice how the text has changed and the text only our picture is gone. So let's keep the original and left click on the original keep source formatting and that's pasted onto our document. 
So that's cut, copy and paste and a little bit about the clipboard as well. Thanks very much.